Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader video tutorial. This is Marcus. In today's video tutorial, we're going to teach you how to copy ebooks to your Velocity MicroCruise Reader. Now, this is an Android tablet, which Velocity is calling it a reader. Now, the purpose of this video tutorial is if you don't want to deal with Borders, which is the default app that the MicroCruise Reader comes with, or maybe you don't want to do business with Amazon, or let's say that you maybe do business with these companies, but you want to have the freedom to load your own books on a tablet. Now, we're going to deal in the EPUB format. EPUB is the most common format and the easiest to convert from text or RTF or PDB or even PDF. EPUB is more or less a universal format, especially with Android tablets and more and more e-readers are supporting the, the EPUB format. Readers that support EPUB is Kobo, Barnes & Noble, and so on. Uh, even Sony supports EPUB with their line of e-readers, so you cannot copy books that you've bought from other bookstores to the Velocity Micro Cruise Reader. So it's not compatible with Adobe Digital Edition. So if you have bought an EPUB books from other bookstores, you won't be able to load them into your tablet. But let's just say that you want to have the freedom to be able to load EPUB books on your reader and EPUB books that you converted yourself or just maybe downloaded from various sites on the internet. So to get started, first of all, you need some EPUB books, which we have on our desktop, but you need to get you some software on your micro cruise. One thing that we need to do is access the cruise market. And we're looking for a format that is pretty compatible with most EPUBs. Uh, the basically looking for an ebook software program called Aldaico. So in order to access that, first of all, we need to download uh, the And App Store, and this is uh, an alternative Google Android market that is accessible via the cruise market and all uh, Velocity Android tablets come with the cruise market. Now this is obviously the cruise reader but we'll refer to it as a tablet because in essence it is. E-readers in our opinion are e-ink based. So you can see here that it's accessing and updating the database. And Like I said you have to keep in mind that you do have a Wi-Fi connection so once this is uh, finished updating, what we're going to do is we're going to do a search and we're going to search for a program called Aldaico. Now, this is the most common and most solid program that we work with with Android devices. It's going to let us be able to copy ebooks directly to the device memory of the Velocity MicroCruise Reader. And once it's been stored in memory using Eldico, which is an e-reading application, it's a free application, so you don't have to pay any money. All right, it's searched here. Now we're going to search for the app. Okay, it says here that it's for the Arcos 5 internet tablet, but this is pretty close enough. Okay, it's downloaded the app and we're going to install it. Okay, it's installed. And uh, we're going to accept the license agreement, maybe turn off all of these little hints and prompts. Okay, so this is the default uh, suite. This is the interface, so you have your bookshelf, authors, tags, and so on. Okay, so what we want to do next is we want to actually copy ebooks to our cruise reader. Now, it's going to prompt us to copy ebooks to the SD card. But we found that just copying them to the device memory once we've actually installed Eldaico is sufficient enough. So we have uh, an SD card in here. 
and we're going to actually take it out. So this is the 4 gig SD card that actually comes with the Cruise tablet, the T301. So we're just using it in this one. So now that we've unplugged the SD card, what we're going to do is actually plug this in via a USB cable into our cruise reader because we want to be able to copy ebooks from our PC to it. So we're just going to put this aside right now. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to you see the removable disk here and what we're going to do is we're going to copy some EPUB books that we have here to our device. Now one thing you want to know is when you install Aldico it creates a directory here called ebooks and then a directory called import. If the, this is not on your device, so let's just say that you um, installed Eldico but it didn't create an ebooks directory on the, your device, and this is not with the SD card, but this is just your device memory. If not, you want to be able to spell this correctly: lowercase e, uppercase b, books. So ebooks. And then you want to have a directory called import. Again, if the program or Android program didn't create this for you, you need to have this here. Now you can see that there's no books inside of this directory here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste three EPUB books that we have on our desktop. One is the latest novel by James Patterson called a Angel. Another one is a uh, Jim Butcher novel. And the other book is the latest Stuart Woods. So we're going to just drag and drop these into the into the import folder. Now, these are EPUB books. You can see it's an EPUB file. And once we've copied this to our device memory, what we're going to do is close this. And now we're going to unplug the USB cable from our, our device and now what we're going to do is at the top here you can see a home button back magnifying glass and options with the velocity micro cruise reader and all of the other tablets they don't actually have buttons that you press here so most android devices most tablets actually have physical buttons on here so because velocity has done a software based what you want to do is hit the settings feature here We're going to hit it again because I don't think we're doing a good job with it. Okay, so next you see search, import, tips, share, and about. What we want to do is we want to actually import some books. And it's going to be able to tell you here that you, this, is, this program is just compatible with EPUB books. So again, the purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to copy EPUB ebooks uh, to your Velocity Micro Cruise Reader. So we're going to import them. And it's basically telling us that it's going to scan our SD card, but we found it's, it works perfectly well just copying it to your device memory. You don't necessarily need an SD card. So you can see it's importing. And it's giving us some uh, noises, letting us know that it's importing. So it's taken a little bit of a longer process because we are doing three books at once. So it says import completed. The books are now on our shelf. So we're going to click on our bookshelf. And you can see here that we have Angel, Jim Butcher, uh, Strategic Moves. So what we're going to do is uh, let's just open up the new James Patterson book. Okay, so it's welcoming us, etc. How are you doing, Aldaiko? Okay, so now that we have the book here, let's see if this works in portrait mode. 
I think I have to configure it to actually work there. Okay, so you can see here's our ebook. You can see some page animations happening. You know, with Android, no application is perfect, but hey, if we want the freedom to be able to load in our own ebooks, you know, you might have to deal with the occasional page loading, as you saw there, and some page turning animations. Yeah, looks like it's not working in landscape mode right now, but nothing that should be taken care of with a little bit of configuration. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to switch it to landscape mode. Basically, I'll die code this application won't do automatic landscape and portrait mode. But what we can do is we can access some of our options here by pressing the options menu and going to settings. And you can actually dim it down for daytime reading or nighttime reading. I turn the volume up. You can also change the fonts layout settings and such. Uh, what we want to do is portrait mode is checked on by default. So you can see here that portrait mode is on. What we're going to do is just turn it off. And lock display orientation is checked on as well. I'm just going to turn that off. And pressing the back button to get out of these settings here. Okay, now let's test it out. All right, bingo. There we go, landscape mode. I prefer landscape mode, you know, when I read books. It seems like more text can be fit on a page. So if you wanted to know how you switch it between landscape and portrait mode with your Velocity Micro Cruise Reader, that's how you do it. And so yeah, basically, this has just been a quick tutorial on how to copy ebooks to your Velocity Micro Cruise Reader. Uh, if you want to find out all there is to know about this reader, uh, we have done a very comprehensive review on it. So I'm putting this tablet down for a second. And in our review section, you, we have a review of the Micro Cruise tablet, second gen. And we also have a review of the Velocity Micro Cruise Reader. Uh, all of our tips, tricks, and everything else that you need to know in order to do it. We have an unboxing review, and we'll be putting a video review on it shortly. So hopefully this tutorial has been beneficial for you. Again, I can do e-reader. We're all about e-readers, tablets, slate PCs, digital publishing, and so on. We're your number one source for all of this information, including e-books, e-paper, and we do all of our own hands-on reviews and tutorials, so a lot of sites just parrot the news. We make the news at Goody Reader, and for Goody Reader, this is Marcus, and everybody, take care.